the Nokia One. HMD Global's answer to the budget segment is a cute little smartphone that carries a nostalgic look and feel due to its design. This phone is perfectly made for people who are still using feature phones and wants to upgrade to their first smartphone. Let's talk more about the Nokia One here in our Nokia Revolution video review. Unlike the Nokia 7 Plus or the Nokia 8 from last year, this phone doesn't have those fancy 6000 series aluminum build. But the design is very nostalgic, because it replicates the design of the Nokia Lumia phones of yesterday's. And I'm sure Nokia fans will appreciate this one. The polycarbonate shell at the back is solid and very vibrant, especially in warm red color. As a user, there may be times that we can drop our phones accidentally. But here's a good thing. The exchangeable express on back covers are back, so you can easily swap a damaged back cover and choose whatever color you like. The Nokia One has a 480p screen with an 854 by 480 screen resolution. Considering this is a budget phone, let's not expect a 720p screen here in this price point. Viewing angles are actually great thanks to its IPS LCD display technology. IPS also consumes less power, which leads to a much improved battery life compared to other smartphones in this price point, which uses TFT displays with bad viewing angles. The performance of this phone is fast, especially when you're using Lite or Go apps. Although full version of apps works fine with some longer loading times, but the Lite apps is the real deal here. Multitasking is smooth, that is almost like you're using a Windows phone. Gaming in the Nokia One is also smooth in some not-so-heavy games like Monument Valley and Tomb Raider and other casual games on the Play Store. But things start to get laggy in big games that we've tested like Shadowfight 3. We also tested the PSP emulator on the Nokia One, and we're actually surprised that it really played well. But this is also depending on the game you play inside the emulator. The game we tested is titled Terra Dark Warrior, and it's not a heavily graphical game. So I don't know, maybe it will lag on some other big PSP titles with heavy graphics. The camera on the Nokia One is fixed focus, so don't expect something big considering its price point but you're able to get some reasonable shots, especially in daylight or outdoor. The XDA developers also found a way to port the Nokia Pro camera to use on other smartphones. And to our surprise, it also works on the Nokia One. But there are only two options that are usable in Pro mode, which is the white balance and exposure, with other options being set to default only. The sound quality on the Nokia One is not actually too loud or too quiet. It's like a balance in between. Here's a short sample clip. The call quality in the Nokia One is crisp and the 4G connectivity is fast. We used the Nokia One as a Wi-Fi hotspot to browse the web on our other Nokia smartphones and there were no problems so far. As promised by HMD Global, the Nokia One is one of their phones that's pure, secure, and up-to-date. With the Nokia One, you get regular monthly updates compared to other phones in the surprise point. The Nokia One will also get Android P once it's released. We don't know if it's the full version of Android P or a Go version of it, but let's just wait for HMD's announcement in the near future. After using the Nokia One for a week, I'm satisfied on how the phone caters my basic needs. The Lite and Go apps were a breeze to use, and the multitasking experience is smooth. If you just came for a feature phone and want to try your very first smartphone experience without an empty wallet, then the Nokia One is the right choice. Do you think the Nokia One is the right choice for first time smartphone users? Let us know in the comments below! The Nokia One is now available online and also on Nokia stores and shopping malls near you. 
If you want more content like this, you can subscribe to our No Care Revolution YouTube channel. You can also follow our social media accounts.